Hello guys, long time no see. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm bringing to you a junk haul of the things that I recently acquired. So I'm excited, let's go. First off, um, and arguably most exciting, is the fact that my grandparents have a subscription to the Boston Globe. So I have, I don't know, like a week's worth of papers. I feel like newspapers are great for so many things. I like to collage with them, especially like the little ransom note where you cut out each letter to like spell words. I like doing that. It's good for if you wanna make like patterns or stuff out of it. It's also great because I have this mod podge that like transfers newsprint onto fabric which is really cool so i definitely wanted some newspapers and yeah i just have a lot of them which i'm excited about and i also took home this pringles can with me because what a great little storage container i just think it's a great little sturdy thing that i didn't want to recycle or throw away i don't even think you can recycle it save this guy from the trash moving on while we were there we went to a savers i got some fun reading materials so first up i got three magazines i think it's so awesome thrift stores would sell magazines because so many people have old ones that they probably just end up recycling but i would love to buy a bunch of old magazines just for like collage purposes and things like that um the mod podge also works on magazines so you can like transfer it onto fabric which is really cool so i got this harry styles one that i think will be good for like lettering because it's just got a lot of like fun colors i also think he's very cool big fan um i got this plant-based recipes book that I think will be cool to read and take note from and then cut up into a million pieces for whatever I want. And then I found this National Parks magazine and it's funny because my dad and I were just talking about the different national parks and so it has cool maps and I don't even know, I haven't really looked through it but so many cool places to travel within the US that I'm excited about so so fun. And then they had a great selection of books and I got two hardcover books which I don't like to get hardcover books I would prefer that they were paperback. I really like David Sedaris and Calypso is one of my favorite books ever so I have not read this but I thought it'd be fun to get. I also just love the cover like strictly from an aesthetic perspective i liked this book starting this book collection of books that i really really love ebay has some and yard sales and thrift stores have them so i kind of had a list of like my all-time favorite books and i've been working on collecting them because i want to have them just at my home so if people come in and they're like oh i haven't read this i heard it was good whatever just take it enjoy it you know and then i also got turtles all the way down by john green i feel like john green gets a lot of shit i think he's a good author i really like him but yeah i actually really like this book and there were definitely some quotes in there that stuck out to me so i'm excited to have this this was one that was on my list that i had not been able to find so very fun i feel like four dollars for a hardcover especially when the retail price is twenty dollars it's a good find this is unreal so then i have some like legitimate trash I feel like this was not clear in the video, so I'm going to try and clarify. All of these sort of found objects, like trash, recycling, whatever, things that I found are all going to be used for some sort of project or collage or something that I'm working on. I've taken design classes that sort of my projects have been focused around using found objects to create art. I'm very passionate about the environment, so I try to avoid buying any new sort of materials. I'm going to show you in a second examples of these projects that I'm talking about. So Here they are. I made the mistake of covering with them a tape, so they kind of have a glare or tend to have a glare. This is probably my favorite, but this is all from just stuff that I found. This is for my trips, like all of my travels. I have just collages of receipts and things like that. I also went to a yard sale or two in the area and I got this fun ring. It was 50 cents. This is what it looks like. But I love having like a little bit of, I don't know, bling um, on my hands. And I'm a really big ring person, so this is fun. And it also is one of those stretchy rings, which is so nice because sometimes my hands get so weighed down and tired. Different yard sale, I got this camera, um, Canon PowerShot SD1400. I don't know anything about it. This is the camera. It's obviously been used and it didn't come with a battery charger, which kind of sucks, but I've been looking on eBay and they're pretty inexpensive. And it's just so small and lightweight. Um, I think it's 14 megapixels, which like is decent. I just like the idea of being able to slide this in my pocket if I'm going out somewhere and I want to take pictures not necessarily like on my phone. That was also five dollars. I can't remember if I said that. Also at the savers, I almost forgot these. I actually got some clothes. Back to school clothes if you will, BTS. And also these were actually from Salvation Army. So I got these super fun little white cargo pants. Now I need to resize them. They're just like a bit too big, but they're fun, they're lower waisted, and just with any little like cropped shirt or tank top, so cute. And you can also dress them up or down really easily. And then, these awesome shorts. They are Wrangler, I think. I'm pretty sure it was Brett Favre, the Wrangler spokesperson for a while. I've got the crazy cool like carpenter back. They've got the little hammer holder on this side, and then 
for all my tools and such. Um, and honestly, like six months ago, I would have just cut them and have them be just like a mid sort of length, but I'm going all in. These are like at my knee, kind of crazy, but they're really cute. I actually, hold on. I actually did think this is gonna work, but I really like the idea of like layering boxers underneath, especially when shorts hit like right at the belly button. I think that's the worst length. So yeah, these would be my jeans. My jean shorts, my jorts. Then last but not least, my aunt was going through my great grandmother's old things. And she was like, I know I have something for you that I thought Lycan would like this. And hats. She let me pick from a bunch of different hats. There were a few that had feathers that I just knew I couldn't pull off. But look at me and my red hat. At first I was like, I'm gonna look like Paddington. But then I decided that I think it's fun. And it's also like potentially when I have actual hair to come out of it. Um, like a little bob. It'd be cute. Thank you guys for watching my video. This is kind of how my life's looking right now in a really awesome way. So I'm excited about it. I love you guys and more videos to come hopefully. Bye guys.